And now look at Psalm 139, 16. It says, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book was written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there were none of them. So God ha apparently has a book, and in the book are all of our days written out of the purpose and the plan that God has for us. And when were they written? Before we were ever formed. Before we were ever a thought in our parents' minds, God had already designed and preordained and written down the beautiful path and plan that he had for our lives. And Jeremiah's purpose was to be a prophet, and each one of us in this room has a plan and purpose that God had and has designed for us. So let me just ask you this question. How often in life do we stop and ask him what the plan is? How often do we just say, Lord, what is your plan? Look at Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. Would you say that many times it really is knowing the to-do list that actually gets your feet out of the bed in the morning. The reality that there are things that you have to do and things you have to accomplish and demands on your time and on your life. But isn't it beautiful to know that in all of our planning, there are plans that can last and stand but those are the plans of the Lord. So how often do we ask him what his plan is? Lord, what college do you want me to go to? Lord, what person do you want me to marry? Lord, what do you want me to offer in this conversation that I'm having? Because if it's your plans that will stand, then surely what you would want to speak through me to this person would have far more lasting value than anything I could offer them in my own thoughts or my own ways. Lord, what job do you want for me? Lord, would you want me to spend this day differently than I've already organized on my own calendar? Is there something different that you might have? I tell young brides often that I've learned the hard way that we can suggest, we can manipulate, we can conjole, we can coerce our husbands into doing just about anything we want them to do. But the question is, if I do, am I going to get a temporal fix or am I going to get something that actually lasts? And I've learned through trial and error and the hard way that if I will ask the Lord to speak to my husband whatever my husband needs to hear, that usually the results have far more eternal and lasting value than when they come from me. Number one, because it's going to be a lot better if it wasn't my idea anyway, right? You know how it is between husbands and wives. But second, if God does it, God can make it last. So man has a lot of plans. But God's purposes remain. Remain. 